Tis the season for feeding wild birds in North America. And whether you're a veteran, bird feeder, or a novice, you can make the most of your feeder this winter. Garden Guys Dale K is giving us some tips and more on top seeds for backyard birders. Good morning to you. Well, in Minnesota, it's even more important than maybe some other areas of the country to feed wild birds because we are so snowy and snow chilly. If you take a look, the pond, little pond behind me, frozen over. A lot of the ornamental grasses and grasses that were uh, there all been knocked over by the snow, so the seed heads are gone. And at this time of year, birds have actually foraged a lot of the crab apples on our trees, a lot of the fruits and, and nuts and, and seeds that were around. So this time of year, over winter, January through to Thor, is an important time to feed wild birds. And I should point out too, really quick, by the way, a lot of, uh, a lot of you, if you have put up a, a fresh Christmas tree in your home, don't throw that to the curb. Don't kick it to the curb. It actually makes great habitat for wild birds. So keep that and then compost it in the spring. The other thing we talked about the pond behind, water becomes critically important for wild birds. So that's why you should uh, deploy uh, a heated water source. You can buy a bird bath that's, uh, that's got a heating element in it, or if you have an existing one, you can uh, just put a, a little standard heater in, the, in, in water. And that's a great way to uh, not only bring birds to your backyard, but also help them out over the winter months. When it comes to feed, there is some that are better than others. So let's walk through uh, types of feed. And then also the, the, the vessel that the seed goes into will also vary depending on what type of birds you, you want to attract. Some uh, are ground feeders, some like suet. So do a little bit of research on the birds that you like to, uh, that you'd like to attract, and then that will help you determine what type of vessel this seed goes into. Firstly, squirrels, let's not forget those. They do like uh, corn on the cob and that will oftentimes keep them occupied and out of your uh, regular bird feed. So always some corn on the cob is a, is a great idea to, to uh, distract squirrels. Some of these uh, uh, whole corn and then peanuts, if you like, if you want to attract pheasants um, or any other type of larger wildlife, peanut pieces that are, of course, unsalted. You don't want to use, uh, th uh, you don't want to use feed from the grocery store, but peanuts that are unsalted and also uh, corn are great for attracting uh, larger birds. Golden safflower is a great feed. I'll just pull that out. It's a great feed because a lot of times squirrels and blackbirds don't go after safflower. Golden safflower has a little bit more energy than the than the standard white flower. So that's a really great feed to incorporate into your, your feeding program. If you're a gardener and you don't like all those seeds growing, all, all, that, uh, all the seeds growing in the spring, a no-grow mix, which is just crushed safflower and crushed corn, is a great mix to, to choose. If you're looking for some really high energy feeds, which is particularly beneficial at this time of year, suet is a great, uh, suet cakes are great, and woodpeckers will absolutely love those. And then also, and nut hatches, by the way. And then really the hamburger of, of bird seed is black sunflower oil. Uh, black sunflower seed that's high in oil, has a thin shell, so it's easy to crack, and that's what makes it so popular. And then if you want to have like the burger and fries, you add the safflower and the uh, black sunflower, to mix those two together and pop those two in your feeder, and that is the best way to attract birds to your backyard this winter. And it's great to also have them because they do bring some interest to our backyards. Back to you. 